Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And by the end of this video, you're going to have a strategy that you can use step by step and test it to see if it works for you and then be able to test that further. And if you're happy with the results, rate it however you like. Um, if you're new here, take one second to go and hit that subscribe button. If you found any value in any of the videos that we have created on the channel, make sure to go and hit that join button as well and let me know what current strategy you're using and why you're kind of looking for a new strategy in the first place. So the question of the day is what is the previous strategy that you used and what is the reason why you're now looking for a new strategy and why you clicked onto this video? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Before we get into all the details around the strategy and all that kind of thing, just remember that this is only a strategy. Okay, this is not going to determine if you are a successful trader or not. Follow the video, write notes, all that kind of thing. But after this, you know, you need to test it. You need to work on your psychology, risk management, mindset, all these kind of things. That is actually where the results are going to come from, not the actual strategy itself. I wanted to say that just before we kind of get into all the details, because I know that there are a lot of traders that are skipping mindset and all that kind of thing, and they're only looking for strategies indicators okay we only use two indicators um you can see them both on the screen hopefully it might be a little bit dark um but i will tell you all of the details that you're going to need to follow along the first one is the one where you've got the lines going uh, horizontal the white gray and red lines these are pointing at zero zero levels 20 levels 80 levels and 50 levels okay the white one is the zero zero the gray is the 20 and the 80 and then the, the 50 is the red one the reason why we have these set up like they are for simplicity when we kind of get into the details later but um for now i'll tell you the other thing and then we can move on the next indicator is the days of the week um, so you can see them hopefully with the dark blue lines. If you can't see them, then all it is is showing you the days of the week. Pretty simple, right? Um, it's just so that I can see where price is in correlation to every single day. And again, we'll get onto the reason later why I have these indicators like they are. In terms of the basics of the strategy, what is like the overview of this strategy? It's a reversal strategy. We are using the days of the week combined with these levels to find reversal points. We expect to see the reversals happen on Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday. So in terms of little blocks, we expect to see one on Tuesday. If we don't see one on Tuesday, then it's either gonna be Thursday or Friday. I combine Thursday and Friday together. If I get a trade on Thursday, I won't take a trade on Friday. Two trades max per week so either one on tuesday and one on thursday or friday um you can't take one on thursday and friday and just as like a little side note to that we'll get into the details later on but the basics are that you're only taking two trade ideas per week we're going to be scaling into these positions and scaling out of them okay so if you're not used to scaling out and scaling in maybe learn about that and come back to this video and watch it um because it is kind of it, it's not advanced but if you haven't done scaling in and scaling out before it might be a little bit tricky okay so let's get on to the step-by-step -step plan step one is you need to wait until it's tuesday thursday or friday right it's pretty uh pretty normal but i'm going to be going you going to be showing you step by step by step we're not going to be skipping anything out okay so you need to wait till it's Tuesday, Thursday or Friday. Step two is you need to go onto the four hour time frame. Also, if you check the description, I'll put this step by step guide in there so that you can just copy and paste it into your own documents. Step three is if we're looking for longs, I'll, I'll tell you how to look for longs or shorts in a second. But if we're looking for longs, we want to enter our first position at the 20 level. If we're going for shorts, we need to enter our first position at the 80 level. If you don't see either of these, so if price isn't near the 20, or if price isn't near the 80, then you're not going to be taking a trade at all that day, and all you do is close the, close the charts. That's all you're doing. Step four is 
if we are at these levels, so by this kind of, by Tuesday, Thursday or Friday, we've been trading for, you know, either one day or a full week. Um, if we're already at that level, by that, you know, reversal day um, timing, then don't trade, okay? If we're already at that level, then you're not gonna be looking for a trade and you just close the, close the, uh, the charts down, okay? Step five is if we are at one of those levels, then you open your first trade. Step six is to put your stop loss at the relevant 50 level. So if we are going long, so let's say price came down here. You can actually see a previous trade. Um, let's say price came down. Actually, let me zoom in so that you can see it's a little bit better. So price comes down to the 20 level, which is here. And we enter our first trade. Our stop loss is going here, okay? So, you know, it. I'll get onto the de details later, but um, yeah, you enter your first trade there, you put your stop loss down here. Very, 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 very simple, okay? If you're entering a short trade, you're entering here on the 20, or the 80, sorry, and your stop loss is going at the relevant 50 level. Very, very simple, okay? Step seven is your TP is 100 pips. Okay, every single trade that you're entering, your trade is 100 pips or your TP is 100 pips. If we touch the 00, zero level, you're then entering another trade with the same parameters as your previous trade. Okay, so your stop loss is 50 pips. Well, it would be 50 pips, but um, it's the closest kind of 50 area. But going from a 00, zero level to a 50 level, 50 pips. Um, and then your TP is 100 pips, which basically goes to the next 00, zero level. Step nine is when price or if price touches the next gray level, so the 20 or the 80, then you're entering your next trade. So on this long example, we're now in one trade here, we're now in one trade here, and we're now in one trade here. Does that make sense? If this doesn't make sense, then put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. We should be entering one trade here, one trade here, one trade here, with a stop loss of here, and every single trade has a stop uh, a TP of 100 pips. Okay, so it's just the equivalent lines. So if you're entering here, you're exiting here, if you're entering here, you're exiting here, and if you're entering here, you're exiting here. Step 10 is to close your charts down. Okay, click the little X button in the corner, close it down and walk away. That is your entries done. Okay, now I'll tell you uh, some of the little details of it in terms of looking for trades and the little kind of things, but that is basically the essence of the strategy, okay? It's very, very, very simple. It's not complex at all. You're waiting till Tuesday, Thursday or Friday. You're entering trades at the 20, 00, 00 and 80 level, looking for reversals of 100 pips, okay? That is essentially what you're doing. The reason for this is because you tend to see reversals happen on Tuesday, Thursday or Friday. Just to kind of put this into a little bit of context here, let me open this up a little bit. You can see that I'm just going to highlight areas uh, on Tuesday, Thursday and Friday where we had reversals from these areas. Okay, so we had one here, one here, one here, we had one here, although that is... Um, a Wednesday, so you probably wouldn't be entering that trade. Um, got one here, 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 uh, here, here, here. You get my kind of point, but there is a lot, right? There is a lot. Um, this one, you wouldn't be entering any trade because we're already at that level on Tuesday. You've got one there. You've got one there 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 you get my point right there's a lot of reversals to be taken um and you can take a lot of trades with this strategy now that is also a downside right if you're not controlled with your risk and you're not controlled with um your trade management and all these kind of things you can enter a lot of trades so make sure to test it Okay, and you might just want to enter at the zero zero levels. You might just want to enter at the 20 and 80. 
whenever I'm giving you a strategy, it's a template. I strongly, strongly believe that a strategy should be, should be taken from an inspiration and then twisted, not twisted, that's the wrong word, changed and modified to fit with your psychology and emotional um, structure, right? You should not just be copying a trade, uh, a trading strategy 100%. It's not going to work. You need to modify it and change it so it fits with you. So whatever you don't like with the strategy, switch it and make it your own because that's where you're going to have the most success. So I'm going to put the list step by step guide in the description below and you can copy and paste that and put it into your own words and all that kind of thing and change it. But essentially that is, you know, the plan. What do you do after that? Okay. What do you do after that? Back test this for one hour a day for three months. Okay, one hour a day, three months, back testing solid. You should have between 600 to 1,000 trades back tested and you would understand, understand your strategy massively. You would know what the market's going to do on a single day, uh, what it should look like, what's the average drawdown, how long should the trade take, what happens, like a Tuesday trade versus a Thursday trade. How do they compare? What do they look like? All these kind of little nuances that you're going to find out if you put that time into backtesting. Let me know the results that you get in the comments below. It'll be amazing to hear what you guys have done with it and all the all the kind of changes that you've done. And yeah, let me know what you've done in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you found any kind of value in this video, make sure to go and hit that join button. And remember traders, trade happy.